Hey everybody, Dick Davis here at Texas Discovery Gardens in Dallas Fair Park. Say what? You can't see me. Come on, I'm right here. Or am I here? Or maybe here? Oh, that's right. You can't see me because I'm camouflaged. That means I can hide really good. Which reminds me, do you know how to catch a rabbit? Hide behind a bush and make a noise like a carrot. Huh. Even when I'm invisible, I'm a funny guy. Or as my wife likes to say, Yeah, he's a real barrel of monkeys. You know, I'm not the only thing around here that can be hard to find. We've got an entomologist, John Watts, who is always giving me the slip. John, if you're out there somewhere, tell us about some of our camo critters. This is a jungle nymph. This is one of the heaviest of walking sticks or phasmids. Jungle nymphs are from Malaysia and can be found in the rainforest. The females of this species are very aggressive and well armored. When threatened, they will hiss and attempt to jab the sharp thorn-like spines on the hind legs and thorax into the aggressor. This is a Malay giant stick. This is a species of walking stick that until recently was considered the longest insect recorded, up to 555 millimeters long, including the legs fully extended front and rear. They are endemic to Malaysia and Singapore. Spiny Devil Walking Sticks. These walking sticks are from New Guinea and are nocturnal, hiding during the day in groups often in cavities of dead trees. The males of this species are very aggressive and fight each other backward with raised enlarged hind legs and abdomen. Both genders can secrete a foul odor to repel potential predators. Look closely on this orchid. There is an orchid mantis sitting here. This is one of the greatest examples of camouflage. This species of mantis from the rainforest of Southeast Asia closely resembles the flowers of moth orchids, Phalaenopsis species, and dendrobium orchids with their creamy white and pink coloration. The four walking legs resemble flower petals, the tooth front pair of legs being used for grasping their prey. This is a banded flower mantis. Both sexes of this southeastern Asian mantis are green with white spots and bright orange hind wings. There is a large white transverse stripe on the forewings. The first instar nymph is red and black and resembles an ant. Adult females are up to 5 centimeters in length and blend in with cream colored flowers. This is a leaf insect. These are the most extraordinary of leaf mimics. So great is the resemblance that they even appear to have mold spots and chewed edges. When moving, leaf insects will sway slowly back and forth like a leaf blowing on the wind. Certain populations reproduce parthenogenetically, that is without sexual encounters, and consist only of females. Thanks John, excellent as always. See you later. Maybe. Can you see me now? How about now? Well, that looks authentic, but that's not me either. This reminds me, construction workers were tearing down an old building on the Texas A&M campus when they found a secret passageway. And inside, they found a skeleton with a medal around its neck. The inscription read, Hide and Seek Champion 1927. <laughs> I can't see them but I think I hear a barrel of monkeys. Huh, I've hidden so well this time that even I don't seem to know where I am. Will y'all excuse me while I try to find myself? <laughs>